What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're we'll focusing on uh, Sidney Crosby taking his talents over to uh, the Czech Republic to suit up for Team Canada at the uh, World Championships, and uh, you know, really showcases amazing abilities in the international stage. Hasn't played in the Worlds since uh, 2006, and Canada finished fourth. He, I believe he was actually on a line with uh, Patrice Bergeron and Brad Boyce, both of, at that time of the Boston Bruins. But you know. I think it's good for hockey, uh, international hockey, that, you know, arguably the best player in the world is going to be playing, um, you know, in a tournament that often gets overlooked. Um, you know, you, you've seen his exploits at the Olympics and, you know, at the World Juniors, obviously, in addition to his unparalleled NHL resume. But, you know, again, I'm happy for this. Um, as an American, as much as it hurts, I medal chances, which weren't great to begin with. The fact, like, Jack Eichel gets to play against Sid is uh, pretty cool. You know, that's... Connor McDavid hasn't done that because, you know, his team's still playing. But, you know, you, you catch my drift. Um, and obviously, McDavid couldn't play against the, the Worlds because, you know, they're the same nationality. And they'll get plenty of chances to play against each other, um, you know, in the coming years. But either way, I like it. I think it's good for international hockey. I think it's good for Sid. You know, so many injuries over the last, you know, five, six years. He's put together two healthy seasons, um, you know, and, and been able to... You know, show why he was, you know, so highly touted, and why he was, you know, said the kid and the next one. Obviously, Pittsburgh's playoff failures don't look good in his resume, and I think that'll be a point of contention this summer. And that, you know, I'm not, I'm not overlooking that, but that's a separate issue entirely, right? Entirely. Right now, I'm talking about Crosby going to the Worlds, and uh, again, I think it's good for him, good for Team Canada, obviously, and uh, and good for the game on an international level. Um, you know, when you see your best players going over there, um, it's it's great, you know, and I think the Canada's younger players will have the opportunity to learn from a guy who's, again, track record is unparalleled, who has a, an unquestionable work ethic, um, and, and it's great for a reason. Not only does he have a God-given talent, but he's worked out, he's worked his ass off to uh, to get there, and, you know, I can't say enough good things about what he's doing right here. Uh, you know, I think it's easy to take the easy road out, um, but he's choosing not to do that, so, again... Wish him, uh, wish him nothing but the best over there. Go easy on Team USA, but you know we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll enjoy his, his abilities and hopefully, you know, for his sake, the Pittsburgh Penguins are able to reconstruct a team around him that, uh, you know, can can win the cup because it's not looking too good now to getting uh, slapped around by the New York Rangers in the first round. Anyway, that's all. I got some sort of the power play with CJ on Sidney Crosby playing in the world. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.